tools necessary for proper application include a Phillips head screwdriver, scissors, X-Acto knife, paper towels, rubbing alcohol, and masking tape. To begin, remove the saddle and bridge. The saddle post and bridge posts can be removed by turning counterclockwise. If your SG has a pick guard, remove it by loosening the mounting screws with your Phillips head screwdriver. Remove the control knobs by pulling them directly upwards and set aside. Clean your guitar body and pick guard, if applicable, with a soft cloth and a small amount of rubbing alcohol. Cut the excess backer from the graphics. With a pair of scissors, cut around the perimeter of both the pick guard graphic, if applicable, and the guitar body graphic. Cut as closely as possible, preferably along the cut channel. Place the graphic on a cutting board and cut out the backer designated the areas of the pickups with an X-Acto knife, being careful not to cut into the graphic. With your X-Acto knife, cut an X into the holes for the toggle switch, the bridge, and saddle posts, and control knobs. Set the body graphic in place, with the area of the backer cut out as closely as possible outlining the pickups. It will fit snugly into place and align into position. Make sure that the graphic is evenly spaced by checking the perimeter of the graphic in relation to the perimeter of the guitar body. Secure the position of the graphic by taping the graphic to the side walls of the guitar with masking tape. Tape at the left and right of the outermost points of the two top horns. Pull the graphic away from the guitar from the bottom towards the pickups. Separate the backer from the graphic. Cut the excess backer and discard. With moderate tension, pull the graphic down and into position. With your hand, rub the graphic into place. Small wrinkles and bubbles will be removed later after the clear transfer tape has been removed. Remove the masking tape hinges. Pull the graphic back from the top portion of the guitar and remove the backer. Again, with moderate tension, pull the graphic down into position and with your hand, rub the graphic into place. Remove the clear transfer tape. Do not rub across the graphic like this when applying. Always rub the graphic into positioning by pushing towards the openings or the outside edges. Inspect the graphics. Bubbles can be pressed out with your thumb. Wrinkles can be removed by pressing with your thumbnail and running it along the length of the wrinkle. Cut an X into the center of the optional toggle switch sticker. Remove the backer, hover into position, and apply. If your SG has a pick guard, take the pick guard graphic and remove the backer. Hover the graphic into position and apply. Remove the clear transfer tape. Reassemble your guitar. Secure the pick guard by replacing and fastening all screws. Replace the saddle post. Replace the bridge post. Set all the knobs in the same position. Sleeve the control knobs over each of the posts with the numbers of each of the knobs in the same position. Reinsert the bridge over the bridge post. The saddle can be installed just prior to string installation. Enjoy your great new looking guitar. And please check out www.axwraps.com periodically to see our new Axe Wrap designs.